Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Monday at the backyard. Something's going on. Got a little siren going on down here somewhere. Not sure what it is. Other and day, fire truck whipped right down the street right here. Gary goes, I think Mama B is on fire again. I went, and there ain't no smoke. He went, no, look, fire trucks. We walk out there. Somebody visited or something from Mag visiting Magnolia. See all the smoke coming from the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> it's on fire. <laughs> Call it in. So. Well, let's just get right to the news that ain't nobody. It's been since last week. We didn't even talk about it. Tony Romo is still a Dallas Cowboy, and now the Cowboys are saying they will not trade him. The Cowboys messed up. They should have never said they were going to release him. Yep. Because now everybody's just going to wait till he gets released, yep. if he gets released. And that's why they're saying that. Well, we're just going to keep him then. We're not going to release him. Yeah. And you he shot get... an Instagram video. You can't shoot an Instagram video saying you're leaving and, and not do that. Garoppolo did. Garopp well, his was hacked. Yeah. His was hacked. Oh, this stuff's a little off-centered, man. I don't know what the deal That's is. That's got to be the camera. It's got to be the camera. You ever get fixated on something? Like, sometimes I sit down at the computer to do Photoshop or something. I just can't leave it. Or... Prime example, <clears throat> sports. I remember I was a freshman in high school or something, or junior high, and one of the coaches, I heard tell my mom, he's too short to play basketball, make him play something else. Piss me off. Right. And I spent, just like you did, hours and hours shooting baskets, and I had a basketball that I would dribble left hand all over town. You know, just right. because I, I wasn't going to be tall. Right. So I had to learn those things that most most people didn't take the time to do. Right. Like dribble left-hand, shoot left-handed. and I learned all that. <clears throat> yeah, because you were left-handed. <laughs> but I, I want to know if, if there's other people like that that just, you know what, you're not good enough to, you, you're not smart enough to be a brain surgeon. You're not smart enough to be you mean a over, accountant. like Excel? Yeah, that you get fixated on something and you just can't let it go. It's, hell, it could well, be a woman. It could be a, a uh, man. It could be uh, anything. Has there ever been that one thing that you went, man, I, ha I have to do this. Nothing's going to stop me. I don't have that, but I do think we have that with Red Sea when they told us we couldn't be on TV and they told us, we couldn't put our movie in the theaters, and well, they told that's, us that's we kind of what I mean. That's kind of where I'm going. It, that was more of a proof of point. Now, if you're talking <laughs> we'll about show you, up, yeah, if you're talking about getting up from the computer, I understand what you're saying because what you do when you sit down to build a banner, you will sit there until it's done. Me, I'm gonna cut a project, and I'm just gonna get up and leave when it's when I when I I will get the job done, but I'm not. If you were to call me, I can just stop and go. Right. Makes sense. So, I don't think I have enough patience to get fixated on anything. That's very true. Exactly. That's why <laughs> Hope shoots the whole movie and edits it. You edit each day. I edit each day, man. Like, man, I can't wait to see this scene. I'm going to go ahead and edit I got no patience, man. That's. I see what you're saying, though, is the fixation of, and you really could do this on guys and girls. Uh, that's when you know somebody's not good enough for you or you know it's not the right person but yet you can't let them go and you're gonna you're gonna prove to everybody else or to yourself oh, so, so many times so many you times know. you see where someone uh, Russell's not that bad he don't think of himself all the time he's not how many times yeah you do that you defend that person yeah. When you're with the wrong person. Yeah, exactly. You never have to do it when you when you end up with the right person. But totally agree. How with many that. times do you have to go? You know what? They just that's just how they. You know that. Yeah. They didn't come home for two days. <laughs> they had to work late. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but they will go to any extreme to, for family and friends. I totally agree with that. Not to have a reason to point a finger. Totally agree with that. Totally agree with that. Uh, <clears throat> two things. We got a big announcement tomorrow. We're gonna do it in the studio. And I think you guys will be super excited about it. We're excited about it. So that's, don't, don't let me forget that. 
And, and second, while you're doing that, I'm gonna pull up the sponsor and, and, and the meal. Yeah, I was gonna tell you what our meal was, which I didn't know, and I was gonna tell you what our sponsor is, which I do know. I do know our sponsor. Well, that, I was gonna pull it up where I could show it. Where He's gonna show it, talking. but today's sponsor that's is gonna, Elysium Gym. <clears throat> Not cryotherapy, yeah. it's the gym. And here's the good thing. It's right down the street from us. It is at Washington and I think 12th. Uh, right at Washington, where's uh, Texas Life? Just those life? things as host and stuff we should know. <laughs> but uh, Where's Texas Life? Yeah, right there. Well, it's, it's, Washington. It, it's right there on the corner. It's caddy corner of Washington, uh, Texas Life. But listen, I've been in there and I know Chris did a good job. He got it set up right. Man. Um, there it is right there. And what's cool about it Watch is, this one come. yeah, it's our, uh, yeah, keep it going. What I, what I was telling him to do, what I was like, man, here's what I want you to do is I want you to take the cryo in Richland and move it down here with the gym. There's a whole lot of walking traffic that could come at lunch or just take a break and come saying, do and it. You could do it right down there. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm kind of as, as, as we're not just, hey, we'll put your deal up on the show. We're trying to help the business because. We got to talking, and I was right. like, "Dude, you got this three food rooms coming. Don't worry, that's just food yeah. coming. We got these Here, three rooms. Bring me that bobblehead. So that's that right there. I was like, "Man, you can move it down to your gym and kill two birds with one stone. Save money. Right. Oh, we're all about saving money." Saving hey, did you money. watch a Mav game the other night? Because I was there. I did not watch it, man. It was Saturday, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, it gets uh, down UFC. to the end. They're tied up. Give it to Devin Booker. They come down. Time. No, they, they won. He shoot. made it. <laughs> it's like nobody. They're like, oh hell, game's over. Let's see. And while we were there, every time they would go to a deal, they would have his bobblehead in is the camera dirt? shot. This is Dirk when he got signed. Yep. Yep. I and the that. night before, they did a Dirk bobblehead of him now. But every time they had the camera on the big screen, they took him and put him all on. I thought it was pretty clever. But I brought this for the bar. We'll put it up in the bar somewhere. And JJ's <laughs> autograph we'll put on the bar. I saw you got JJ's autograph. Sucker ran in there and sat down. I told Meredith, I said, find out how tall that little dude is. Six foot. He's, it says six foot, yeah. and they're like, he ain't six foot. You're I, six foot. I mean, I, you're an inch from six He's foot. taller than me, because I remember seeing him when I took, we went down there with Kelsey because she liked him and he walked up, or he walked by, he's taller than me. And I'm 5'11". And, yeah, when you're standing down there with those other guys, you look about 5'1". Yeah, when you stand next to Dirk yeah. at 6'11". Do you get fixated on stuff? That's what our deal is. I think I like, I like the term, the truck's loading, it's getting loud. Yeah, Do we'll get out you of here. get fixated on stuff? And let's go see what the uh, lunch special is. Oh, it's Ham and Turkey Club. Oh, never mind. We didn't have ham to and look. Turkey Club. Let's take a look at the. There's the truck it's making the noise. Finally, Gary Wayne is working. Doing something. I swear to God, he will. He will later in the day go. You know what? I was gonna do that anyway. Just to get I on would, camera, just, he's working. Yeah. Hey, don't forget half price on all of our specials from five to eight Monday through Friday. Come see me. Ah, <laughs> Dave. I mean, oh, wow. wait, get a shot, get a plug. That's what Gary. I'm talking about. Hey, oh, man. and we're having a bracket challenge. You have to come down to the backyard to fill it out. Yep. It's free. Hundred dollar first price uh, prize. Seventy five for we'll second, we'll fifty, we'll, we'll and twenty five for last. We'll do but that you too. only got till Thursday to get. Yeah. It. So get so. down here and get it. Till tomorrow. Watch, like, share. Get over there to uh, Elysium Cryo Gym over here in Washington. Tell Chris we sent you. And. Uh, I'm Russ, and there goes Chris, and we are out of here.